Oh yeah, it's championship day and that's what they're playing for. The R Mag Tournament Championship Trophy. The Mavericks trying to force game two early. Matthew Turner singles up the middle. Would advance the second by the time Jordan Stubbins steps up to the plate. Shoots one out to right. Looks like the fielder might have a play, but it drops in and Turner's coming in to score the opening run in the first to the second. Boy, another day, another great defensive performance from UCCS. Here getting Tanner Gardner to ground into the 6-4-3 double play. And it's the top half, bottom half. Mountain Lions get the lead off hitter in scoring position when Jake Anderson lifts one out to left. Yesterday we saw Gage Edwards pitch one and one thirds inning of relief. Today on the bump doing big things. Comes right back, gets the strikeout. Next batter told to sit down. Uh, then gets Michael Bennett to ground out for the final out of the inning, getting out of an early jam in the third. Two on for the RMAC Player of the Year. But once again, the Mountain Lions come up big, getting Hayden McGeary to ground into the 4 6 3 double play. And then the bottom half of the fourth, the leadoff man, Evan Richards, sends one out deep to right. That ball is not coming back. We are all time up at one. And that's where we would be for the majority of this game, a defensive battle throughout. Edwards coming right back, getting the next three batters to strike out. He had eight on the day. In the fifth, the Mavericks have a runner on second with two down. J.J. Wrights pitched six innings, only had two strikeouts on the day, but gets a big run there to end the threat. Pitcher just going tit for tat. Edwards gets a K of his own to end the inning. Top of the six, Mountain Lions get a bit of trouble here with one out and a runner on first. Stubbins wears one. Next batter, Tanner Rempel. He takes it to the back for back-to-back -back hit by pitches and loading the bases. Next batter, Chase Hamilton sat down on strikes and talk about a gutsy call with two going. Caleb Farmer lays down a bunt. Nervy play for the pitcher, bare handing it, but gets the force out at first, getting out of some big time trouble. Did I mention the Mountain Lions have good defense? Check out the catch from the left fielder, Luis San Morano, robbing Conrad Villafuerte, then a pair of strikeouts from Creed Jeffers to keep the Mavericks handcuffed at one. Ditto for Edwards, tied at one going into the eighth when it looks like the Mavs might have a chance to strike in. The leadoff batter Turner since went out to right near that line. It's a stand-up double for him with Hayden Aguirre coming to the plate. He makes solid contact, but right at the second baseman, the catch and the tag. Another double play for UCCS. Can you believe it? In the Mountain Lions half, Gage Edwards' day comes to an end with a runner reaching first on a uh, throwing arrow. Seven and two thirds, giving up four hits and one run on eight strikeouts. A nice ovation for the sophomore uh, for a nice day of work on a big game. But then it all gets a little hairy for the Mavs when Evan Richards singles one out to right. Runners on the corners for the Mountain Lions, two out. But then the Mavericks get out of it, inducing the fly out to center. All knotted up at one, going into the ninth. Chase Hamilton draws the leadoff walk, and here comes that picture perfect small ball game. Farmer, the sack bunt to move Hamilton up. Next batter, John. Johnny Carr swinging and sends it to second. They'll get the force out, but it still moves Hamilton again, and that's huge because now the run is only 90 feet away from home, two down, and wouldn't you know, the pitch finds the dirt. Catcher gets to it quick, but uh, not a second of hesitation from Hamilton. He's on the move, an amazing play at the plate. The tag misses by just that much. The Mavericks take the lead in the top of the ninth. Somebody get this kid a poster, hang it up on the wall with the RMAC tournament on the line, the Mavs make it 2-1, and they hang on to it in the bottom half after the game. I talked with Chase about that big time play at the plate. It felt good. I told my third base coach if there was a ball in the dirt, I was going to take a risk, and it worked out perfectly, so that was awesome. I mean, I saw it, and it bounced away far, far enough where I thought I could make it, and it turned out that I did, and it was like a kind of like a slide away from the catcher, and it worked out. I mean, it was it was sweet. It was awesome. Forcing a crucial game two. Let's uh, get to that now, shall we? Bottom second, Mavs down four to two. Base is full for Hayden McGarry. Sorry for the weird angle, but uh, the base is loaded for McGarry. I had to say and watch and see what happens. The wild pitch gets means Blaine Demello scores. He's gonna make it four three. McGarry he does get that hit through the left. Matthew Turner he's coming in to score to tie it up. We're all knotted up at four. Mavs take the lead. When Jordan Stubbins flies one out to center field, Johnny Carr, he's going to be the one tagging. He scores and makes it 5-4. CMU on top. To the top of the third, Austin Lorenz, he gets Michael Bennett on cold strength three. End of top half, bottom half. Uh, Chase Hamilton with a leadoff double out to left. Conrad Villafuerte, he's looking to bunt, but gets hit by the pitch. Caleb Farmer, he does lay down that butt and will have two in scoring position for Harrison Rogers, who's going to send one all the way out to that right center wall. Two are going to be coming in to score for the Mavericks. Makes it 7-4. to four. Mavericks on a roll.
Later, it's Johnny Carr coming up clutch, pushing it through the infield and pushing home yet another Mavericks run. They double it up. Eight to four is the Mavericks lead, but in the fifth, the momentum swings back the other way and swings hard. Jake Anderson sends it way back to left center. The fielder goes for the diving nab, and with a runner on first, uh, he's running hard. Would pull the Mountain Lions back to within three. Later, Michael Bennett, he's going to get himself into a hitter's count, pulls it through the infield runner on third. He's going to get a nice, easy jog uh, still in the fifth base. It's Chuck Walker Rumsey. He draws a walk, so a runner will walk in. That makes it eight to seven. And with the bases still chucked, Matt McDermott, he makes good contact. Two more Mountain Lions would come in. It was just a brutal inning. More from UCCS here. Runners, they're coming in when Evan Richards drops this thing on the chalk. Ruled fair. A two RBI double. Part of an eight-run fifth inning. Mountain Lions wouldn't look back from there. Only allowing one more Maverick run. 18-9. to nine. UCCS is your final. They win the RMAC tournament title. But up next for the Mavs, a shot at that South Central Regional. Who knows? They just might see the Mountain Lions again there. That begins this coming Thursday.